Alright, what's up everyone? Sean here and welcome to another car detailing related video. Uh, today we have the Prius once again and it's going to be uh, subjected to another uh, testing of the Preludio uh, 2 pH uh, rinseless quote unquote system. Basically it, allow it allows you to pick and choose which of the pHs you want to go. If you want to go high pH or go low pH for rinses washing uh, because uh, you may see in the uh, b-roll that the car is kind of filled with some uh, bird dropping but also I wanted to really test out the Cerakote ceramic coating that I put on uh, a couple months ago at this point I believe this is a two two month uh, uh, milestone so we'll see how uh, it fares with the uh, hydro hydrophobics and everything and self-cleaning properties quote unquote and uh, we'll go from there so uh, we'll do a maintain wash and hopefully the well, assuming that the coating is holding up, and uh, go from there. And also, you may have noticed we have the two cameras set up today, but uh, the pretty much the wide shot is going to be shot with the Osmo Pocket Three today from DJI. So that's pretty cool. Not that I'm uh, sponsored by any means, but uh, just wanted to really test out a lot of things today. Just so I'm coating the camera, and also the Preludio Prius uh, watch system. All right, so we're gonna bust out two detail kegs, not just one. So with this, we're gonna do a one, actually do a one to 15 uh, dilution ratio, which means eight ounces of product to one gallon of water. So let's throw that baby in there. And this is, yes, the Preludio uh, alkaline version. Hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and pump these up uh, one by one. And then meanwhile, we're gonna do more or less a uh, one ounce of the acidic rinseless wash to 30 ounces or 33 ounces of water for the acid side. But that will be for after the alkaline wash. And by the time we have the acid busted out, the, there should be water on the surface. So therefore also kind of like making sure the acid's not too strong. That should be enough. Have the electric sprayer once again coming into play. Pretty handy because it does resist um, acidic properties. So I have that all set up there. By coincidence, I bought that spray in the green color. Oh, all right. Unfortunately, the screw on this was a little loose so we had a bit of a disaster let me see there we go we lost some product but that's okay that's we have a gallon of it so all right let's go ahead and get this baby rolling Smells pretty good. You can always see, hopefully, the K 
chemical working on the poo already. And you can see already all that gunk just being oh yeah yeah one to 15 definitely works look at that it's like attacking the bird poo just fine all right let's make sure everything is all wet Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's like just dissolving the poo really well. We have a whole gallon of this stuff so we can just keep spraying it, spraying it, spraying it. And uh, this car has been going through pretty much some abuse for two months, so it kind of does call for it, in my opinion. So we can really get to see how Preludio works. All right. So let that sit for about a good minute. Uh. Oh, man, but look at that. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that. It is working on the poo and all the dirt and everything very, very well. Let's just keep this wet. It is a pretty hot day, so let's keep this wet. It's this side anyway. Oh yeah. Just with the pressure of this alone, is pushing off a lot of the bird poo. Oh, look at that. Is 1 to 15 enough for this? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Look at all this crud in the back being dissolved. All right, that's enough spring. Let's go ahead and rinse that all off. Yeah, it looks like we're just about out of the product here. Nice little, nice little handy keg being small and all. I should definitely check on the screw next time before I put it on. But anywho, let's get this all rinsed off. Oop. There we go. The coating, the coating is pretty um, sustained, I guess. 
if that's the word for it. It is. Yeah, this part is flat, so it's a little hard to, um, yeah, see, it, it like, it, there's a little divot right here for Priuses. So it's a little harder to see, but some of the water beads are not tight. This one is. <laughs> Everything else, everything else seems okay. The roof, seems to be like half and half. this part, entire part is like dead or uh, might be some error on my end maybe I didn't put enough on or whatever it was but this part is good for the roof the hood is good for the most part doors like doors are good lower panel is getting a little hit hard So it does make sense. So you kind of do get what you pay for, you know, being a, a pretty cheap coat coating because it's $40 a bottle. And this car kind of went through a bit of hell for the last two months. So because the only wash it went through is uh, my sister kind of cleaning it with just water. So you can kind of imagine how much uh, work it did to the coating. So it goes to show that even the ceramic coating won't help you out um, a whole lot in a sense. So you do have to do the work yourself as well. So that's what I'm here for with the Preludio, hopefully. So we got the acid now to bust out. And uh, because there's water on here already, it should help out, kind of like make it a little gentle, in no sense. So let's go ahead and get that applied. So overall, I think I think Cerakote is not bad, but kind of remember you're getting what you're paid for. You know, it is forty dollars a bottle. Whereas something like DIY detail, I've had nothing but good things to say, at least for the most part. <laughs> yeah, let's start with the shaded side. And remember, this is a one to 30 dilution. So hopefully the acid will take off and revive the coating at least somewhat.
Looks like we're running. Oh, sorry. Looks like we're just running out. Yeah, let's get the lower panels. Looks like it foams a little bit. That's kind of unique for an acid. All right. All right, sorry about that. The camera keeps shutting off. Yeah. Trying to see that GoPro can still do its thing, but man, GoPro is just kind of failing me as of late. So I may have to uh, switch it over to something like the Insta360 uh, Pro Ace or Ace Pro. That has been not doing me any, any favors, so. Yeah, it looks like GoPro is just not taking the heat very well. It is pretty hot. All right, let's see if we can get this out before um, it dies again. Now we can kind of just like neutralize it with our DIY rinseless. Woo doggy, look at that spray. Oh, there's an interesting dead spot right here. <laughs> kind of funny looking. What I'll probably do also is just um, panel prep the dead spots, like the roof, pretty much half the roof and then that spot over there. I'll probably just do half the hood with more cer uh, Cerakote. Since we already like polished it to hell. Oh, there's also a dead spot right there. It's interesting. All right, sorry about the lack of footage. Um, it's hot enough, it's like over 90 over here that the cam both cameras were overheating, so I could not get any more footage than what we saw already. But I can definitely tell you that it cleaned the car very well. Uh, I got some B-roll, so you can kind of see that across. But um, overall, the Preludio system did what it could. It did what it's built for, which is to really clean certain types of dirtiness, which is, you know, uh, alkaline tackling the organic stuff and then the alkaline or not excuse me the acid uh, tackling the more of the minerals and stuff like that like water spotting and all that stuff uh, I can definitely see that uh, coming into play for both of the versions of Preludio so I'm definitely happy with the Preludio uh, system I'll definitely keep using it whenever the situation calls for it it's not definitely like a um, consecutive sort of product that you uh, use right every time and basically, you know, you, you only use it when, like I said, the, the situation really calls for it. So um, I'm going to pretty much wrap up what I need to do. And we have a clean car today. So I'm going to just patch up the ceramic coating with some prep, uh, panel prep and the Cerakote um, uh, coating. 
and uh, clean the tires and I, I'm gonna also do a video with that one and that's pretty much it so I'll just keep recording uh, as much as I can before the camera overheats again and then we'll go from there so uh, but in case I don't see you guys um, after that uh, thank you very much uh, hit the like and subscribe and we have another clean car thanks to uh, Preludio um, and of course DIY's Rensselaer's V2 the DIY uh, kegs and all that stuff you know it's all in a day's fun and uh, we got we got to beat that heat so <laughs> uh, with that thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next one there you guys